Hello! I am back ladies and gentlemen and I'm sorry for the lack of uploads but today I am back with a vlog because um, I, I feel it's time that you guys see what's happening all around me, why the lack of uploads, um, which, uh, which yes, have been bugging me, but ultimately at the moment my priority, uh, right at the very top, is moving to new place. And as you can see, well, the Folger Tech is not there anymore. Um, and wait, hold on. Remember all the printers that I had here? Well, they're not here anymore uh, because I've started moving all the stuff to new place um, so I only have like the bare necessities here that I would need to use um, if if a client orders something or if I have a little project which I'm working on at the moment however something really awesome um, is happening first of all look see I have proof boxes everywhere uh, but most importantly that thing right there that's what we're gonna go see. This beast right here um, was very, very generously, uh, not given to me before you start screaming. Uh, this is on loan. This was sent to me by 3D Prima in Sweden. I met them up at the Sweden meetup and they told me they'd be happy to send me a review unit of the very new Race 3D Pro 2. This thing is a beast. It's an absolute beast. I'm working on a really large project, which um, yeah, well, you'll see very soon. Um, currently I'm printing like a, a, a prototype of a box that I was asked to do. It's an ABS, so which is why it's fully enclosed at the moment. But for now, um, it's gonna stay here, it's gonna be printing, I'll be doing a review on it. Um, let me show you guys the new space. This, ladies and gents, is my new makerspace. Well, it's actually a garage, but it, it's gonna be my makerspace. And at the moment, as you can see, it's havoc. I have printers everywhere. There are boxes, which I still need to take upstairs. The reason why we put them down here is because it's much easier to move them here. And as soon as they install the elevator, which should be in the next couple of days, we can just take everything up to the apartment. Down here are all the printers. I, I have the FE5, I have the East3D Gecko. Uh, the Digomaniva, this is the Vertex Delta, uh, there's the uh, JJRA5S, that's my custom Robolo uh, printer, that's the FL Sun QQ and a Cubic um, Photon, there's the Felix Tech 4, there's the Alpha YZ10, this is, well, this is a CNC machine. Um, already started putting some things in place. Um, these, those are all filaments. Um, they're not all the filaments that I have, but as you can see, it's a bit chaos at the moment. This is the main reason why I haven't been uploading lately because we're constantly moving stuff. There's the electricians coming to finish up the apartment, water services coming to install the water. There's had bathrooms that had to be finished and installed because we have to move by next week. Now in here, there's, a, there's another room. See now, here, this is this is like kind of under the ramp. Um, it's more like a storage area. This belongs to my wife. <laughs> She'll put her stuff in here. Uh, but this wall, this wall right here, this is where I'm going to be putting filaments. I'm going to be attaching rails um, so I can do adjustable shelves and. Um, I can put all my filaments there so that I can close this door, maybe put a dehumidifier in here so it's constantly dry. As for the plans I have for this place, well this wall, this wall, this one right here, um, this is going to have more shelving. This is where all the printers are going to go, uh, except the ones I'll probably working imminently. While I will be recording down here, most of the recording will be happening upstairs in the apartment. Um, so what I plan to do here is have a long bench from there to there. Um, it's gonna be a heavy duty bench. I'm gonna have my 
CNC mill, which I had done a few years back. It's, it's an automated CNC mill. I have a lathe, uh, I have an aluminum uh, block cutter. Uh, it's like a bandsaw kind of thing. Um, next, here, another big bench. Um, I'll be putting storage up there so I can put boxes and same shelving. Uh, stuff that I'll put there, I'll put here as well. Uh, I want everything to be as organized as possible in here. Um, I'll probably have like a bench right in the middle here. Um, so I, when I record down here, which will happen quite often, um, I can sort of have everything in the background. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I've been doing for the past, uh, well, a couple of months actually. Now it's, we're still fixing stuff in here, hence why though. Before I go, this showed up just a couple of days ago. A Robo R2, it's probably the only Robo R2 in Malta and I'm really excited to open this and try it out for you guys because I have a couple of projects to do. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I just don't have the space or the time to do it. Yeah, we really need to get out of here. So as you can see, it's not that I haven't been doing anything. I've been doing a lot, but not a lot that has been related to the channel. This will go on for a couple of weeks more. Um, as I said, we'll be moving till the end of the month. As for me, uh, what I have planned, I'm doing the Palette Plus review, finally. Um, I should be recording that today, uh, uploading possibly during the weekend, early next week. Uh, the reason for that is because, well, today I'm uploading this so I can give you guys an update. Last but not least, I'm going to tell you who the winner of the TiVo Michelangelo is. So rather than me capturing the screen and everything, this is much easier, much quicker, dirtier, but quicker. So, we have the screen over there. We have the competition, which is right over here. We're going to see winners. And we're gonna draw the winners. Well, winner, actually. One winner. So, winner to draw. One, limited injuries to date, anytime. One winner unpicked with 1,272 potential users. Impressive. We're gonna draw. And the winner is Mark Rink uh, from Cedar Rapids, USA. Well done, Mark. You are now the proud owner of a TiVo Michelangelo, a printer I really, really, really like, actually. And um, yeah, well done. As for me, I'll see you guys very soon. Uh, if you're wondering about this, I haven't shaved. Um, everything is shaved here, but not here. And the reason for that is because I keep watching uh, these awesome beards on TV, like the guy from Gas Monkey Garage or Chris Ramsey on YouTube. And I used to say to myself, well, I always say to myself, those are some really epic, epic beards and I wish I had one. And then I realized, well, I never really tried to grow my beard. So I don't know what's gonna look like. It might grow to be majestic for all I know. So I'm gonna try it out. Let me guys know what you think. Um, that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please stick around. Things will get back to normal soon enough. Uh, in the meantime, like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.